Proxima Centauri B, journey to our nearest alien world. Imagine standing on a shore under a crimson sky. The sun above you isn't our familiar yellow star, but a dim ember, Proxima Centauri, glowing red and unpredictable. Waves break in slow motion because a single day could last forever on one side of this world, while the other side is locked in endless night. Between these extremes lies a narrow ring of twilight, perhaps the only place where life could survive. That world has a name, Proxima Centauri b. It is the closest known exoplanet to Earth, just 4.24 light years away. On the scale of the galaxy, that's incredibly near, especially when you know the Milky Way is about 100,000 light years across. Most of the stars we see are dozens to thousands of light years distant, but even close in cosmic terms is daunting. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, the fastest human-made object, travels at about 700,000 kilometers per hour. At that speed, it would take nearly 6,700 years to reach Proxima Centauri b. That's why scientists are dreaming up radical ideas, like laser-powered microprobes that could make the trip in just 20 years, putting interstellar travel within a single human lifetime. Proxima b was announced in 2016 after a campaign called Pale Red Dot used the HARP spectrograph in Chile to detect a faint, repeating stellar wobble every 11 days. This signal pointed to a planet slightly more massive than Earth, orbiting in its star's Goldilocks zone, the region where conditions might allow liquid water to exist. Proxima Centauri itself is a red dwarf, small, cool, and faint. Because it shines so weakly, a habitable planet must orbit extremely close to stay warm enough for water. While Earth is 150 million kilometers from the Sun, Proxima b orbits just 7.5 million kilometers from its star, completing a year in 11 Earth days. Its minimum mass is about 1.17 times Earth's, making it likely rocky rather than gaseous. So, what would it be like to stand there? Gravity would feel familiar. You could walk, climb, and build. But the light would be strange. A deep red glow instead of our golden sun, tinting skies, seas, and landscapes. If the planet is tidally locked, one side would burn in perpetual daylight while the other freezes in endless night, with the habitable zone possibly forming a thin band in between. Some models suggest thick clouds could circulate heat, softening the extremes. If instead it spins in a three to two rhythm like Mercury, days and nights would still be very long, but the climate could be more varied. Life here, if it exists, might survive in oceans beneath ice or deep underground, shielded from the star's flares and those flares are fierce. Proxima is a flare star, unleashing bursts of radiation powerful enough to strip atmospheres and scorch surfaces. In 2019, it produced an ultraviolet flare over 14,000 times brighter than normal in just seconds. For humans, this would mean building underground habitats and farming in protected spaces, using artificial light powered by solar panels on the daylight side and wind turbines in regions where hot and cold air meet. Our first close-up view might come from Breakthrough Starshot, a project to send gram-sized probes to Proxima b, accelerated by Earth-based lasers to 20% the speed of light. If it works, they could reach the planet in about 20 years and send back images a few years later. The challenges are enormous, keeping the probes on course, protecting them from interstellar dust and maintaining communication over light years. But it's already being seriously studied. Meanwhile, telescopes on Earth are preparing to hunt for signs of life. The upcoming extremely large telescope in Chile will try to block Proxima's glare and analyze the planet's faint reflected light, looking for molecules like oxygen or methane. Future space observatories in the 2030s and 2040s could even capture direct images. One day, we might finally see Proxima Centauri b, not just as a wobble in a star's light, but as a real place. 
that first glimpse could reveal an ocean world or a barren, airless rock. Either way, it will transform how we see our place in the universe. Thank you for joining me on this journey beyond our world. Creating videos like this takes countless hours of research, writing, and editing. And every bit of your support makes all the difference. If you enjoyed this adventure, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others who love exploring the universe. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Your feedback and curiosity inspire the next journey. Your support isn't just appreciated, it's a game changer. Together, we can keep reaching for the stars.